Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video. Today, of course, we're going to be opening the Alola collection, this time the Moon version. Back on Monday, we did the Sun version, so today we're going to do this, and I'm also going to be giving one away. I've got two right here. One quick comment on the giveaways. Last week, we gave a couple of things away, and I've already messaged the winners, but I haven't gotten any replies yet. One thing I found out is the YouTube app, if you're on the mobile version, like tablet, or if you're watching it on a TV or your phone, apparently it doesn't actually have messages. So if you're name is The Spilled Milk, or if your YouTube name is Matt with an M for your symbol, go and check your PMs. You probably have a message from me. You might have to go to a desktop or a laptop or something to check it. So for future giveaways, if you guys are on mobile, maybe leave like a Twitter handle or something like that in your comments so I have another way to actually contact you just in case you win. So yeah, to enter the giveaway for this one here, just drop a comment and a like on the video. Boom, you're entered. Let's go ahead and actually open this guy. Oh, don't fall over. I just realized my mic was like moved to the side, so it might have sounded weird for that first bit. Don't worry about that it should it should sound fine now okay here are the three promo cards now if you watched the video on monday you saw that there was actually different a different version of each of these cards in that one so let me know which one you guys like better even though i'm on team pokemon sun i think i like the moon versions a little bit more here i think they're pretty cool and of course, they've got the crazy rainbow pattern, so I think they're pretty awesome. We've also got this giant Luna Law figure. This thing is huge. I'll show you guys a comparison. How do I stand this up? It looks like there might be a plastic piece that sticks in here for the stand, but just for a comparison, look at Solgaleo versus Luna Law. The size difference is pretty massive. I'm not sure how much bigger uh, Luna, Luna Law is in the actual game or the anime or anything like that. And right there, we've got that beautiful pin. Heck yeah. Wow, it's actually got two pins on it. I can't see any plastic piece for a stand. Maybe it'll be somewhere inside here, but we've got some packs here. There's Fates Collide and X and Y Evolutions. We've got a Steam Siege. There's another Evolutions. Oh, there's a code card. Let's go ahead and uh, drop that on there. There's that. And then we've also got, oh, I see the stand thing. Okay. And then we've also got a breakpoint right there. So here's the little stand piece. Let me go ahead and put this figure together. There you go. There's the thing put together. Let's check it out standing up. I think that's pretty cool. I think I still prefer the Soul Galeo one just because I like the ground underneath his feet right there instead of the clear stand right there, but still pretty cool. And of course, we can't forget the biggest part of this. We've got the Luna La GX card. It's got Lunar Fall GX. We'll zoom in and read that one in a second. But wow, that is a beautiful card. You can see Luna La kind of in space or something. I don't really know what's going on. Well, let's check out their GX attack here. Knock out one of your opponent's basic Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon GX. Holy crud. So you can just straight up eliminate one of their Pokemon. And I think, I think EX is count as basic. And if it does... You just like, here, have two free prize cards. That's crazy. Of course, the GX attacks you can only use once per game, but that's still, that is still crazy to me. I think that might be better than the Solgaleo one, although Solgaleo is kind of more of a support, and I guess Luna Law is more offensive. Well, let's go ahead and check out this first pack right here. I think it was Breakpoint. Uh, yep, indeed. Okay, so we've got a Pseudo Wudo. There's Mawile, Nuzleaf. Let me make sure I'm focused. Very good. We've got Chikorita and Temple, Spritzy, Skrelp. Hunt Edge, Reverse Hollow Aegislash, that's a rare, very nice, and we got a Meganium Hollow, that's a pretty good pack right there. Hollow and Reverse Hollow Rare, not bad. Let's go ahead and check out, you know, we'll save the Evolutions packs for last, because we did them first last time. Let's do Steam, uh, Steam Siege next. Steam Siege is kind of the, I guess I would call it the newest X and Y set aside from Evolutions. I would kind of call it the newest non-reprint set, because X and Y is mostly old cards just reprinted, so Steam Siege in that way is kind of the newest set still. Here we've got a Fletchender, Shield On, Special Charge, Rufflet, Oshawott, P uh, Ponyard, Ponyta, Clink, Reverse Hollow Ampharos, another rare, and we've got a Toxicroak. So not back-to-back -back hollows, but we got back-to-back -back reverse hollow rares. Pretty happy about that one. Let's go ahead and check out this Fates Collide pack as well and see what this one has for us. Wow, that, 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 just, that just fell apart. Okay, well, let's go get this code card out of here. And let's check out this one. I saw a Snubble already, but we'll get to that. We've got Double Colorless Energy, which I always feel like looks more pink than colorless. We've got Dome Fossil Kabuto, Shuckle. There's that Snubble, just chilling under that table. We've got a Snivy, Solosis, looking at a very angry Shelter. We've got a Gothita. There's Minchino, Spoink Reverse Hollow, and we got a Bronzong. I swear there was like five cute Pokemon inside that pack. That was ridiculous. Well, we've got two X and Y Evolutions packs. Let's get to this Raichu one first, and then we'll do the Venusaur one afterwards. If I can actually get them open. There we go. It's gonna have to peel it like a banana, I guess. There's the code card for that guy. And let's check out our second to last pack. We've got a Kakuna. Let's make sure we're zoomed in there. 
we have got a energy retrieval. There's Haunter. Pikachu. We've got Machop, the strongest Machop that ever chopped. We've got a Growlithe and an Onix. There's Nidoran Male. We have Reverse Holographic Lightning Energy. Heck yeah. And we've got a Gyarados. Dude, this is so cool. I don't think I've got this holographic yet inside my two booster boxes that I've opened. That's so awesome. What the heck? I never knew he was the atrocious Pokemon, but I guess he is. So awesome, dude. We got our second holographic already in this one. And let's check out the last pack. Can we get an EX inside this booster? I guess it's not a booster box. Inside this uh, Alola collection here. Let's find out. If I can ah, get them open. There we go. There's the last code card. And let's check out the last pack. We've got a Super Potion. There's Nidorino. I just flicked that code card across the room. We got Professor Oak's Hint. I feel like, I swear this card was just, was just called Professor Oak back in the day, but maybe I was wrong. We've got a Seal, Nidoran Male, Ponyta. We've got a Doduo. There's another Pikachu. We've got Reverse Solo Machop, and what do we got? We have an Arcanine. So no EXs out of this box, but we did get two holographics and two reverse holo rares, so not too shabby. Nothing out of this world spectacular, but I'm pretty happy with that Gyarados. That's my favorite pull we got because it's something new for the collection, even though I've already opened like two booster boxes from this set. So, so super happy to have that one. But I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap things up here for today. I do post these videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today's a Wednesday video. So on Friday, we're going to be opening a Victini Mythical Pokemon Collection box. Of course, I don't just have one of these guys. I've got I've got just a few of them. So we're going to actually be opening like, I don't know, like four of these guys or whatever. So I guess I will see you guys on Friday. Take care.